Hello friends, Paul Hahn here, coordinator of Mission in North America, greeting you this week from what will be Fran and I's apartment in Venice Beach, California for the next couple of years. This is our living area. Behind me, you can see our little kitchen area down the hall this way. You can see what is our bathroom and our bedroom. It's gonna be tight quarters, but a lot of fun for the next couple of years being here with the folks at Pacific Crossroads Church delighting in the gospel of the Lord together. Uh, in this Advent season, uh, the great hope is that God has been on the move and coming into the world through Jesus Christ, God the Son taking on human flesh, that God will come back again, that Jesus will come back and reign over all things and all peoples to make all things new, and that God's Spirit is on the move now, convincing us of the gospel convincing us that we are forgiven, that we are delighted in by the Lord. Most of all, that we are favored by God. The angel Gabriel comes to Mary and has to convince her through their conversation, even as he is giving the great annunciation of the birth of Christ through her, of God taking on human flesh in and through her womb. He convinces her, and it's difficult for Mary to process this, that she is God's favored one. Zachariah and Elizabeth grapple with is this news about John's coming to prepare the way of the Lord too good to be true. They have to be convinced of God's favor toward them. The shepherds out in the fields on the first Christmas as the angels come down and, and the bright lights of heaven shine and the angels sing in their presence of the glory of God and of the favor of God on all those who embrace this gospel of the Christ child come. Know this, I'm not an angel but a preacher is a little bit of a knockoff angel, God's messenger now with God's word, inerrant, inspired, breathed out word of God in Holy Scripture behind me. I'm telling you, I'm announcing to you that you are favored by God if you indeed embrace this gospel. He loves you. He has come specifically for you to give you care and forgiveness and encouragement and purpose in the life of his kingdom. So know the Lord's favor. Let his favor saturate your mind and heart this Advent and Christmas season. May you be convinced by the gospel afresh that you are indeed God's favored one. Go in his peace and his love. Amen.